Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Physics with Oliver. Today we will discuss the problem which you can see on the screen. Before starting the problem, I will request you to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Okay, let's start. If the electric potential on the surface of the innermost sphere is zero, then the relation between A, B, C is. Okay, these are the surface charge densities. Okay. That means for unit area, the charge is sigma, right? So the total charge on the surface, uh, on the sphere A, suppose this is sphere A, this is sphere B and this is sphere C. For the sphere A, the total charge is sigma into 4 pi A square. This is the surface area of the sphere A. And the total charge B is sigma into 4 pi B square. This is the surface area of the sphere B. And uh, for uh, third sphere, sphere C, the total charge is sigma into 4 pi C square. This is minus sigma. Right? These are the total charges. Now it is said that electrostatic potential on the surface of the innermost sphere, that is potential at this point, is zero. Right? So, Va is 0. Now, we have to write what is the equation of the potential on the surface A. If you don't know the uh, how to write the potential for this concentric spheres, then uh, go to my channel and you will get another video where I have described how you have to write the potential for the concentric spheres. Okay. Now, I am directly using this formula. This is the uh, uh, inside point for the sphere. For the sphere A, this is the surface point for the sphere A. So, this will be QA divided by 4 pi, uh, sorry, 4 pi epsilon naught and the radius of the sphere is A. And this is the inside point for the sphere B. So, QB divided by 4 pi epsilon naught B. And this is also the inside point for the C. QC divided by 4 pi epsilon naught C. Okay, it is said the potential at the point uh, A at the surface of the sphere, uh, A sphere is 0. So, this is 0 and now we have to put the value of QA, QB and QC. This is sigma 4 pi A square by A. This is sigma 4 pi B square by B. This is minus sigma 4 pi c square by c. So, this 4 pi will cancel out with the 4 pi and this a will cancel out, b will cancel out and c will cancel out. So, we get sigma divided by epsilon naught in bracket we will get a plus b minus c. This is equals to 0. So, from here we will get I am writing this here. From here we will get A plus B is equals to C. Right? So this should be the correct answer. A plus B is equals to C. I hope you understand. If you don't know the process how I have written this, uh, I have given the link of the video in the description. Please go to the link and see the video. You will understand it clearly. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, then please subscribe the channel. Thank you everyone.